if your audience left the room and they remembered one key message, what is it? We've talked a lot about the substance behind being trusted in, in being a thought leader, but there's also the component of, of the packaging of that substance, right? And, and you mentioned attention to detail. We've been, um, we've had a lot of uh, professional interaction. I've seen you present at meetings. Uh, we've had several different calls, several different meetings. You're always on time. Your presentations are well put together. You are always well put together. Would you say this is something that you always had because your attention to detail, or this is something that you've been uh, incorporating in, in just learning maybe from mentors or other people on how is it that you can, yes, work on your substance and in, in, in your thought leadership, but also work on how you package that so, the, so that it's more easily accepted when, when being in front of others? I think it's a combination of both. Um, you know, I, d depending on what it is I'm working on, that that will determine uh, how much time I can spend to attention to detail. I've got a lot going on. So, uh, you know, my friends will say that I'm a horrible texter, right? I've got like no punctuation. I'm just, like, I voice text and I won't auto, I won't correct the autocorrect mistakes. And like, I just, I, I just, I just send it. Um, but those are my friends. That's that mm -hmm. audience. And that's that interaction. Um, that's not, uh, my company or my brand or the work that my colleagues are doing or, you know, the, 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 the brand of my client as they're taking the work I'm doing and sharing it forward or broadly in their organization. And so, uh, you know, I certainly was given feedback early on in, in my career on um, how to piece things together, how to build a story uh, I've been a bit of a storyteller in, just personally and, and in my career. So when it comes to, to presentations, I, I rely somewhat um, on that and that comes naturally to me. But anybody can, can hone that skill and, mm -hmm. and can develop it. Uh, any, but, but you got to go back to those things we talked about earlier. Empathy. You know, if I approach it always from my perspective, as opposed to my audience's perspective, I'll miss the mark. Mm -hmm. I have to think about what they need to get from this content or this information, um, how the story needs to build over time. Is it one of those moments where you just rip the bandaid off and deliver the punchline up, up front and then give them the details? Or do you do you, do you build and build and build and build and then deliver the punchline at the end? It just depends. Mm -hmm. So um, that takes time. I do a lot of storyboarding in my work. Um, I coach a lot of people uh, who are, they have big presentations coming up. Okay, how do we build buy-in? How do we build commitment? Um, how do we, ensure, like if your audience left the room and they remembered one key message, what is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now given that, let's go back and look at all the content and what we're preparing. Are we preparing the right thing? Or have we buried the lead somewhere? That takes work. It also takes failure and uh, learning about, you know, what, what is successful and what isn't successful. Authenticity is key. You know, people won't believe you if you're trying to, fake it. So be yourself. And that goes a long way.